Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another self-care Sunday where we take one day out of the week to deep treat our hair, do things that are good for us, all that wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, so today, as you can see by the thumbnail, we are reviewing the Miche Strengthen Protein Deep Conditioner made with Baobab Protein and Mango Butter. I've heard so much about Miche Beauty, so, 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 so much. And of course, I love to support black owned. Um, and I do love to support the naturalistas that are coming out with their own products. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different. So because this is the last self-care Sunday that I'll be doing for a couple of weeks, um, this is going to be self-care Sunday with a mini haul. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to be showing you just all the products that I've purchased. Um, since Black Friday because I know I said I was going to do a no buy but you guys know me I have no self-control um, and I'm always looking for new things to bring to the channel so um, we're going to be putting this in our hair today and we're also going to be talking about the things that um, I have purchased now let's talk about this first and then we will start application and we'll get into the haul so um, just a little about Mish. At Mish, we are passionate about beautiful, healthy, strong hair. We take the utmost care and attention in crafting each and every one of our products. Our products are packed with natural ingredients so you can feel good about what you are putting into your hair. There's no silicones, drying alcohol, sulfates, parabens, mineral oils, synthetic or artificial colors, phthalates, or animal testing. The first five ingredients are water, BTMS, CDRL alcohol, mango seed butter, and caprylic triglyceride. So great ingredients in the first five, and that's followed by the um, olive oil and rice bran oils. There is vegetable glycerin in here, um, silk amino acids, and then hydrolyzed baobab protein. I was really intrigued by this because I've never seen baobab protein in anything. I always see the oil, but not baobab protein, so super excited about that. So how to use it, um, it says after shampooing hair, apply a generous amount of strength and deep conditioner into clean, damp hair. Comb gently through hair from roots to ends to thoroughly distribute conditioner. Place a plastic cap over hair and leave it on for 30 to 45 minutes. For deeper penetration, use a hooded dryer or a hair steamer for 10 to 15 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with warm water, followed by cool, wa cool water to lock in all the moisture. So let's go ahead, we'll start applying this. There's the texture. It is definitely thick. It's moving a little bit, but it's it's still pretty thick. I'm very excited about it. Um, so along with this, I don't have it in front of me, but I did also purchase the shampoo. I did not use the shampoo this time around because I needed um, a little scalp treatment. And so I used my As I Am Dry and Itchy Scalp Co-Wash. Um, because my scalp was a little itchy this week and it has done its job my hair feels so nice and soothed and tingly if you've been thinking about trying that co-wash I highly highly suggest it and so I've done nothing but co-wash and this is my hair so I think my hair looks pretty good um, for having just been co-washed that um, co-wash will leave your hair squeaky clean though so if you don't like that from a co-wash I wouldn't suggest it um, but me personally I use co-washes because I do want some type of cleansing so I did get the shampoo from Mish. I also got the indulge moisturizing deep conditioner as well as the lavish leave-in conditioner super excited about trying those I have heard so many amazing things about Mish from so many different people either on YouTube or just in the natural hair community in general, people suggesting them to other influencers, and I decided I wanted to go ahead and see what all the hype was about. Um, I will say it did take a little while to get to me, but these are handmade products, um, and you can tell they're high quality. I'm down for it. If it takes a little while to get to me, that's fine as long as it's great quality. So it is thick, but it's very smooth and creamy in the hands. And first application oh yeah I like it already <laughs> and I'm sure y'all can see why like it's just it's going in my hair and really just soaking in okay Mish as far as the smell goes kind of smells like a fruity candy like a 
y'all know those um hubba bubba band-aids that they used to sell like back in the 90s and early 2000s i don't think they sell them anymore but that's what it smells like to me and the slip is beautiful this has a beautiful slip i don't have to work hard at all i've barely dipped into the jar and i feel like this section is basically good to go which is wild so yeah i can't wait to try out the other products i've heard so many things about the indulge deep conditioner um everyone seems to love that people are saying that it's like the most moisturizing deep conditioner on the market um and so i am super stoked about that This is where my hair is, and my hair is definitely taking to it. I'm extra, so I'm just going to add the tiniest bit more to my ends. Yeah, I'm liking this. And yeah, I'm just trying to soak up as much time with you guys as I can because I don't know how I'm going to feel. Today is Saturday, surgery's Friday, so. Now my hair isn't completely springing back, but this is definitely like a heavier weight conditioner, so I'm not expecting it to curl automatically back up. Kind of like the way the, um, the Camille Rose non-guide protein treatment did, um, this definitely isn't like that. This one is definitely a moisture protein balancing kind of thing, so it's not going to give you that immediate like pop back up to the curls the way that that one did. Oh, right, and then on to the next things that I got. Care Care. So, um, I don't have all the products in front of me because my brother does use these. Um, I repurchased the Moisturizing Curl Activator. I repurchased the um, curling jelly. My brother has the one that I recently bought. This is my old one. This is almost empty. Um, I did also repurchase the leave-in, and I also purchased the Moisturizing Curling Cream haven't cracked this baby open yet but this is what they do suggest that you pair with the curling jelly for a wash and go and I'm stoked about the texture so um I might do a quick wash and go with these two just to see how they are I do want to order the um hydrating spray to see how that feels if any of you guys have purchased that let me know how do you like it so far I feel like this is going to be a really good wash day because this niche stuff is nice. And it just, it definitely feels high quality. But not that kind of like handmade situation where you feel like, bruh, I just could have pulled out some of my own stuff, you know. Um, this definitely, so far, feels like it's worth every single penny that I paid. I mean, can y'all see, like, this is going through my hair so easily. We're only 11 minutes in. <laughs> and this just, for a protein deep conditioner, I was not expecting it to melt my tangles like this at all. Wow. Goodness. Like, like I see why people are really just taken by this company because... This stuff feels amazing. Like, my hair is already coated and I've barely done anything. I haven't had to work hard, like, and my hair definitely, like, my hair really likes this. And then I got a couple of deep conditioners. One is a repurchase. And the other is something new that I've wanted to try. I picked up the Garnier Fruit Cheese Damage Repairing Treat. And it's their one minute, minute hair mask and this has papaya extract in it. I got one of the little baby ones of this back when they first came out. 
I used both of them. That was around the time when I was still recovering from my buildup situation. And I remember liking them, but I don't remember what I liked about them. So that's what that looks like. So it is moving in the jar. It smells like a papaya smoothie. So I am hype to try this again. Plus there's a lot of product in here. There's 13 and a half fluid ounces in here. So um, you guys remember I did pick up the Curl Treat line. Um, I am going to be doing a review. I'm going to deep condition with this. I'll probably do this for a self care Sunday. Um, and then I'll style with the Curl Treat line. Um, and then I also, I picked up two of these. I picked up the Silk Elements Pure Oils with Eucalyptus and Honey Soothing Deep Treatment. I did a self-care Sunday on this. You guys know what this looks like. I'm almost done with my first jar. Me and my brother both, both use this. I've been going to, every time I go on to Sally's, I look to see if they have any of this left because it's being discontinued. I've always like been lucky enough to catch the very last one that they have in the store. Um, and so... If you love this deep conditioner, if you tried it on my account and you were just like, oh, this is like, this is the shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I couldn't have foreseen it being discontinued that quickly. That, um, soothing line from Silk Elements is not, it's not old, like it's a newer line. Um, but it's, I've been told by multiple people at Sally's that it is marked as that collection being discontinued now I don't know what they're gonna do because Silk Elements is still um promoting the product on their Instagram I'm still trying to stock up on as many of those as I can simply because if they reformulate that I don't lightning doesn't strike twice in the same place and that mask is such a gem so affordable so I know that if they reformulate it it's not going to be as good as the current version that I know and love and so I'm getting as many as I can because like I said like it's not just me using it it is my brother using it we both have a lot of hair and I usually do buy his products for him just because I know what he likes I introduce him to a lot of stuff Wow, guys, I am super duper impressed. This feels so good in my hair. Like y'all can even see, like even these sections right here that are just disrespectful. They're always disrespectful. I need to get like a tangle teaser because this side always gets disrespectful. I think I'm gonna get a tangle teaser, see if I can get it to help that or I don't know if I want to commit to a Felicia Leatherwood brush. We'll see. Tell me what y'all like more. Do you prefer Felicia Leatherwood or um, do you prefer a Tangle Teaser? I don't, I don't know. I'm not big on styling brushes. Like I have a, well, detangling brushes. I have a Denman. Denman is a styling brush though. I don't know how people have been using that to detangle. Like Denmans are supposed to, um smooth the cuticle in style um I don't believe it's intended purpose like original intended purpose was for um detangling I think a lot of people experience damage that way too so let me know which one do you like more and the next thing that I got is RK Naturals liquid gold and then a, another extra product here <laughs> so I did get this I ordered the box the box was $55 I believe that that deal has ended and if you would like to get the box it is now I want to say $79 so you'd essentially be paying a little over $80 for um, all of the products in the lemongrass collection I have only used two of the products so I have used the sleek and shine finishing oil and the slay and lay edge gel i have used these two days in a row i love them that edge gel will lay your hair i was showing my brother earlier i was like my shit is laid that will lay your hair down 
this has such a nice soft silky texture it's different because um of the ingredients so like it has caprylic triglyceride and then meadow foam seed oil as the first two ingredients usually like most oils that i find even um oils from higher end companies they start with a carrier a carrier oil like jojoba or um rice bran sometimes like even pricier companies will have the first ingredient be soybean oil um which i think is a slight bit of a ripoff i'm not going to lie guys um that oil is amazing it actually sprays out of the bottle in a mist it's not a fine mist it is a mist that's going to hit your ha your hair a little bit heavier but it mists it doesn't go out in a stream so I'm really happy about that because y'all know I've purchased a couple of oils because I wanted them to sheen spray onto my hair. I've been looking for stuff to replace my OGX. Not that I have any issues with OGX. It's just nice to know that there are other alternatives that you can give people that don't want to use the, you know, those products. That one I can do that with. So if you were looking for something that's actually going to spray out of the bottle, that one does. So I am so super duper excited about those products um they also came out with a few more and let me finish this section and I'll show you the rest of the products and then the things that I bought today because I'm super excited This feels so, 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 so good. Okay, guys, so my hair is coated in the conditioner. Um, my hair feels like it's already responding to it really well. This is how much I used. Didn't use that much at all. Barely started hitting that inner rim of the jar. Um, so I'm definitely going to get quite a few uses out of this. The slip on this, guys, and it's like, it's a weird because it wasn't like a slick kind of slip. It just, my hair just melted when this hit my strands. So, um, I'm really excited to see what my hair looks like when I rinse this out. I am super duper excited about that. I have the feeling that, um, Mish may end up being one of those products that I need to, like, have a couple of their conditioners in my stash, like, at all times. All right, now let me show you guys the rest of what I purchased, and then of course I'll go sit under the hooded dryer, and we'll see the results of this. But I do want to share this with you guys because I know I'm not going to get the time to do it later. Um, and so the rest of the lemongrass collection obviously includes the lemongrass leave-in conditioner. So this is what inspired it all. It has been repackaged and put into this pretty packaging. Um, I love just the look of it. She really did her thing with this. She also came out with the Hold It Styling Gel. And this texture is super interesting. I keep seeing people say that this looks and feels like Vaseline. I don't agree at all. The only, my only gripe with this is that it's an eight ounce container. So it's one of those, it's like a jar within a jar. Like you can see like that little tumbler space in between it. But the product definitely is not full. I need that to be full um so that's that's my only gripe <laughs> um if I'm gonna pay a lot of money for products I want my products to be full even though I did get a good deal with this but still there's also a super twisting butter and this is one of the only ones that really smells lemony a lot of these kind of either have a slight lemon or barely have any scent at all. The gel doesn't really have a scent. So this is like a whipped butter. I won't be doing videos with these anytime soon, but I will tell you what I do plan on doing so I can go ahead and kind of get a feel for them. They also have the lemongrass styling mousse. And I just, I don't know. This just looks really nice. Um, I do use mousses occasionally, a lot of times for my twist outs. So what I plan on doing is, um, 
I'm going to have to protect the style of my hair because I don't know how long I'm going to be on the table during surgery. And so I plan on spraying my hair all over with the lemongrass leave-in. I'm going to apply tiny amounts in each third of my hair of the super twisting butter. And then I will finish each um, little section and twist it with the mousse. So I plan on using all three of these to set my hair. My hair will probably be in that state for a while. I'm just gonna throw on a bonnet and chill up to the hospital, so. <laughs> and that's kind of what I did the last time I had this done. Usually when I um go into surgery, I always go there with my bonnet. I don't care what people think. I don't care if they think I look crazy or whatever. Um, and I usually twist my hair or I put it in some type of, um, I'll like blow dry it and I'll put it back in an updo, so. Those are the, usually the two, two things that I do, twist or that, and then I will just throw my bonnet on. And then aside from the lemongrass collection, I also picked up the aloe berry styling gel. I've seen Mad Curls use this, they love it, and also Melchery, she reviewed this a long time ago and she really enjoyed it, so. It smells really good. I'm excited to use this, so I will also be using this with the lemongrass leave-in because that's how um, it is suggested to use it on the packaging. So, going to be my first time really working with Allocade Naturals, so this will give me some time and my downtime to kind of try the products. And then I made a trip to the beauty supply today, um, and I only picked up three things, but one I was really excited about. So I will probably insert a picture or something of what I found um, at the beauty supply. Um, but I wanted to show you this in case you don't follow me on Instagram. So Eco has come out with new products. Um, and they have come out with companion products to their Eco Gold. Y'all know I love Eco Gold. Um, and when they released the companion products to the Black Castor and Flaxseed, I wasn't particularly impressed. Um, to the point where, like, I'm almost done with that leave-in and I still haven't done a review on it because I just don't really have any feelings about it. Like, it's just there. Um, they came out... I only picked up the olive oil, shea butter, black castor oil, and flaxseed Ecoplex Moisture Lock Moisture Lock In Conditioner. So that's what this looks like. It is gold. Has that spray top. Um, so it does spray out. There we go. I got it. So it is like that thicker leave-in consistency, kind of like how the other one was. But I prefer the ingredients on this one. This one is very thick and emollient, and it does have a similar fragrance to the um, Eco Gold. So, I really do like the <laughs> I really do like the texture of this. I feel like my hair is going to take to this much more than the other one. The other one was just so so silicone heavy, and it mixes well with the other with all of the Eco gels, which is the benefit to it. But I have my own combo that I like, and I couldn't justify that. I think I paid $6 and some change for this. Let me double check. No, I paid $10.29 $10 for this. So for an eco product, it is a little pricey. Um, the other products they had in the line were the... Um, they have a shampoo and conditioner. Both seem really nice, but I am like bombed out on shampoo and conditioner. I don't need any more right now between everything I've gotten from Curlbox. Um, and they also had a um, finishing spray that had this really pretty like gold sheen going through it, kind of the way that the gel does, except that one was $15. And I just couldn't justify it. So <laughs> um, I will probably get it at one point. I'm going to finish some of my refresher, refresher and finishing sprays first. And then I'll probably go back for that. But I found this at my local beauty supply, so. I can't wait to use this. This will probably be one of the first things I try when I'm back to doing like regular hair videos. And then I do have some repurchases. These are it. I also have the Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Recipes Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating, Elongating Curling Gel. I have done a video with this. I will link it in the iCards. Love this gel. It had been a while since I would repurchased it and I was missing it so I went ahead and I got another one. Fabulous, fabulous gel. I love this with my almond and marshmallow um, combination, so the leave-in and the hydration serum. Love it with this. I had amazing results. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. You'll see what I mean. And then um, I also have the Eco Sport. 
this is the max hold 10 I just got a um this is what 16 ounces yeah I got the 16 ounce jar just because I have a 32 ounce of the eco gold the black castor and flaxseed oil and the pink I still have 32 ounces of those both all of them I've really got gone into like I'm getting through them but I did I couldn't justify getting a 32 ounce of this even though they did have it but um I did a review on this I'll probably do another update review on this just so y'all can see the actual results I get from it the first review I had was a fail after trying it again with different products I absolutely love the wash and go that I got out of this so um I'm definitely going to be coming back and doing another review on this so I can give you guys an, an accurate representation of how it works. I really do love the Eco Sport. This is about as close as you can get in the Eco Fam to the Gold Gel. The Gold Gel is different. I don't care what anyone says. I've used all of them. The Gold Gel is different. Um, and so this is about as close as you can get to the slip and the feel that it has in the hair. But this is not going to mix with all the different things that you can mix Eco Gold with. Eco Gold works with almost everything I paired it with. So um, this one is not going to do that. But once you get the right combo, it'll be beautiful. So these are all the things that I have purchased post Black Friday. Um, I do plan on getting the new hair milk um, from TGIN. I'm actually going to go and order that right now. <laughs> Um, but that's really all the shopping I plan on doing. I have not found the Exotic Kool-Aid collection. I found every, I found the other two collections from the main choice, but I want that Exotic Kool-Aid. Um, but I still can't find it. I'll keep looking, but I'm not gonna, like, go crazy, you know? So, when I find that, I will get it and I'll do a video on it. But these are the things that I purchased. I just, truth, truth be told, guys, like, I really just wanted to have, like, one more chit-chatty personal video with you guys before I go do this surgery um, I really appreciate all the kind words and all the support um, and it has really helped I'm I'm really excited about it but I am nervous because like anytime you go under you're gonna have nerves like it just is what it is <laughs> um, and so I just wanted to have one more like chatty video with you guys before I do that because I don't know what I'm gonna feel like filming again and the next video that I'm going to do after this that will go up this week before my surgery is going to be my black owned business highlight and I don't want that to be personal I want that to be about the brand so um I'm just so happy that like I had this little community that I can communicate with you guys and just talk about products and I just wanted to have this one last little hoorah before we do that um, so I'm going to go sit under the hooded dryer. Hopefully she'll work this time. She worked the other day. Hopefully she'll work this time. Um, one of you guys asked me if I plan on getting a hot head, and I do. I do. Promise. I do. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. There's a certain one that I want, and it's always out of stock. So I'm going to go sit under my hooded dryer, um, and then I'll come back, and I'll show you guys the results with this niche deep conditioner. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back and these are my results with the Mish Strength and Protein Deep Conditioner. This is the perfect balance of moisture and protein that I, um, I'm just really impressed. Um, I have, definitely have curl definition. Um, this didn't bring back these curls the way that like a straight up protein treatment would but it definitely did help you can see my hair it's super shiny in person minimal frizz this is what i look for when i look for a protein conditioner that is still moisture balanced i'm just gonna put my hair up and then we can go over the claims on the container, it says what it does. Strengthen is a protein and moisture balancing deep conditioner for all hair types, especially fragile, damaged, and color treated hair. Strengthen deep conditioner increases hair strength, helps to reduce breakage, deeply nourishes and revitalizes the hair for better manageability, aids in repairing hair damage, and improves elasticity. Now, the claims about um, reducing breakage. Um, and repairing the hair, I would have to use this for a longer period of time to be able to say whether that's true or not. What I can say is that this definitely improved my elasticity um, far more than the main choice one did. These are the these are the results that I expected from like the main choice. 
Um, it says that it helps to increase hair strength, and I feel like it does. Um, my hair definitely feels strong, feels elastic, but it doesn't um, feel too hard or too heavy. Um, it deeply nourishes and revitalizes the hair. Yes, um, my hair feels so nourished. It's shiny. It's soft. Um, this is just amazing. It says it strengthened is enriched with hydrolyzed baobab protein, one of the most powerful hair repair vegetable proteins. Baobab protein has a combination of hair loving amino acids, which offer incredible conditioning, damage repair, and nourishment. And so I, my hair loves this. I'm, I'm super impressed. My hair loves this. Um, if you guys have been looking into Mish just as a company um, and you've been curious about the Strength and Deep Conditioner, I think that this one is newer than the Indulge. Have you been thinking about it? Get it. It's so good. It is so good. I feel like even if you have issues with protein, I feel like even people that are protein sensitive will like this. Um, so hi I highly suggest this. Mish, girl... Listen, to those of you that suggested Mish to me, thank you. Thank you. Because I, I'm i super impressed. Um, Y'all know these last couple of self-care Sundays, I've had some that I've just been like, mm, whatever. But um, And then, last but not least, this is self-care Sunday. And I do like to show you guys treatments that I use. And so, for my scalp treatment, I am using the Papaya and Castor Scalp Massaging Serum from Eden. I'm just making sure I have a good layer of something on my strands because I told you guys my scalp was a little itchy. I don't think it's from products. I think it's just from the weather change. Like it's really hot and then it's really cold and then it's like in between and my my scalp and just my, my skin in general, especially the skin on the rest of my body and not my face is like confused. So this is usually my trouble spot. This smells really nice too. I've used this on dry hair and it works wonderfully, but I really like putting it on um, wet hair because I think it soaks in a little better. But yeah, so um, this obviously is not out yet. This was in the little kit that they gave us um, as a gift for purchasing four or more products during Black Friday. So I do plan on doing a video on this collection soon, but just wanted to let y'all know this little gem, put it on your list so when they get ready to launch, you already know. Okay guys, well, that is it for Self Care Sunday. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. Um, I don't know when I'll be posting Self Care Sunday again, but at least expect not to see one for the next two weeks. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there, but thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Um, and thank you guys for continuing to watch my videos, even though I can't be as consistent as I would like right now. Um, y'all have a wonderful week, <laughs> um, and of course in the weeks to come, I hope y'all will do well, um, and I will keep you guys updated on my progress and where I'll be going from here. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!